the Bank Wensleydale listed chase is next. Oh, we're still at Ascot. Oh, this one is over three miles, I think. It's just a listed one at the top. We've got Swain Forkbeard for Leon Van Rensburg, a winner last week. Bucko for Martin Leon, returning winner of last season's Whitbread Leaf River for Darren Thompson. Nashville Decree, Vinnie Gerard, Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg, Sagramore Dreams for Graham Clutterbuck, Silver Coup for James Shea, the Broken One, Joshua Sutherland, Western Warmth, Darren Thompson, Clara Bell, Graham Clutterbuck, Fiddler's Bino for Darren, uh, David Robertson, Long Stay, David Hooney, Mig Craig Beckwith, Quake, Paul Rhodes, and Through the Valley of Jumps, Obi Wan. So called in and away then. And short run to the first, which they've not all got over because in the Valley of the Jumps, into the Valley of the Jumps has gone. Through the Valley of the Jumps is what it's actually called. And sadly out of the race. They get to the second and one or two took a bit of a leap at that as well, including Swain Forkbeard closest to us. I think it's Swain Forkbeard. There's two Leons in this one. And they get to the third, which is the first ditch. And there's another one down there. Western Warmth has gone. So that's the second fall that Darren Thompson's had in the last few races as well so some of the big stables having some problems this season keeping the jockey on and MIG has gone clear by about four or five lengths to the broken one is in second then Silver Coup is in third then Bucko is after that one that one needs a lot further than this but didn't get a race last week as he's too high in a handicap to get in any and this is the only one he can get in this week as well so well Quite the only one you can get in this week, but give him a bit of a run round. Mig's in the lead on the broken one in second as they get over the fifth. We'll safely over that one with long stay, just the back marker. And they get to the sixth, and Mig is setting a really stiff pace. One or two mistakes there. And Leaf River nearly joined his stable mate on the deck there as Darren Thompson's horse not jumping at all well. But they're well strung out and they're going at a very fast pace and this might be setting it up for the closers you would think as they get over the eighth and it's Mig in the lead from the broken one back in second then the grey Sagramore dreams closest to us on the inside of that one is Swain Fortbeard Silver Coup is after that and then comes Bucko with Nashville Decree and Quake and then Obsidian Shard after that Fiddler's Bino on the inside and then the back to Leaf River and Long Stay but Mig gets over the ninth with a good clear lead good jump there by the broken one in second sees that one take a clear second from Sagramore Dreams Swain Forkbeard is next in fourth and then Bucko and Silver Coop with Clara Bell as they take the fence it'll be the last next time round all safely over it with Nashville Decree the new back marker so racing up then past the stand and past the winning post with a complete circuit to go, it's Mig who's got a clear lead of about five lengths from Swain Forkbeard is in second, then Broken One is third, Sagamore Dreams is four and Clara Bell is five, Bucko is six and Fiddler's Bino is seven and Silver Q is eight and then Quake is nine and Obsidian Shard ten and then Leaf River Long Stay and finally Nashville Decree, just the back marker then as they swing right handed down to the back part of the track and race downhill towards the next fence and it's Mig. It is clear by five to Swain Forkbeard, who's now in second. The Grace Agramore Dreams still just showing third. Stable mate Clara Bell on that one's outside. On its inside, the broken one as they take the 11th. Then comes Bucko. Then after that one, Fiddler's Bino making a bit of a forward move. Quake is next. Then Obsidian Shard. But it's Mig they've got to get to. Mig's three clear. As he comes down towards the next, gets over that one nicely. Really good jump by Swain Forkbeard in second. Then a gap back to Sagramore Dreams is in third. Then Clara Bell, the broken one, Quake Bucko. Fiddler's Bino still coming around the outside, trying to follow that one through his Leaf River. They're over the 13th. And it's Mig who's in the lead by two lengths to Swain Forkbeard in second. Over this next one they go, that was the 14th and they're all safely over that one with Mig still clear by two lengths to Swain Forkbeard in second. Then Quake has now moved through into third, the broken one is next, then Sagramore Dreams and Clarabel just dropping back a little bit. Um, Nashville Decree is getting into it, Fiddler's Bino still trying to make a forward move, Bucko is still there, then comes Leaf River and Obsidian Shard and at the back it's Longstay and Silver Coup. But 
but it's still MIG in the lead then by about a length and a half now to Quake and Clara but as they get over the 15th and over that one they all go mistake at the back by a long stay it's probably put paid to any chance that one had but it's MIG over the next in the lead MIG's over in front from the broken one in second Swain Fork being his third then Clara Bell then comes Natural Decree over the final ditch that was the 17th they've got three more to take and MIG has kicked on for home MIG from Clara Bell over the third last MIG's over in front from Clara Bell in second the broken one in third then comes Quake Nashville Decree looks a big challenger on the outside Swain Fortby and Obsidian Shard trying to run on so too Leaf River Sagramore Dreams Bucko and Fiddler's Bino got a lot of work to do forget the rest they're coming into the straight they've got two to jump and it's Clara Bell in the lead from Mig in second then comes the broken one Swain Fortby and Nashville Decree and Quake all trying to run on so too Obsidian Shard who's now coming round the outside over the second last really good lead by Obsidian Shard has seen that one come through in a challenge but it's still Mig in the lead Mig from the broken one one. Then Nashville Decree and Quake. After that one come the Leon Van Resberg pair. They come down towards the final fence then now. And it's the broken one who's just poked his head in front. The broken one from Mig on the inside over the final fence. And it's the broken one who landed in the lead. Obsidian Shard moves in a second. Mig's trying to battle back. But it's the broken one who's in front. Broken one comes into the final half foot with a lead of two lengths. Mig's trying valiantly to fight back but he's not going to get close to this one in the lead. And the broken one is not broken today. The broken one wins it from Mig in second now. Natural Decrees, third of City and Shard, four, then Quake, Bucko, Run on Will, then Clara, Bell and Sagra, more Dreams, Leaf River after that one, and Swain Fork being dropped away, and a thriller of a race, which goes the way of Joshua Sutherland with the broken one, Mig run a big race leading all the way, and surely got a race in it before the season's out. The broken one takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Mig for Craig Beckwith was second, Nashville Decree for Vinnie Gerard was third, Obsidian Shard for Leon Van Rensburg fourth, and Quake for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>